everybody. I hope to see you tonight on the Chuck Leonard party bus going at the Mono Wind Casino with Trey Tosh. If you want to go and you haven't purchased your tickets yet, make sure you're here by 5.30 on the corner of all of Van Ness at the Central Valley Talk Studios. 40 bucks. Get you get your, get your ride to and from Mono Wind Casino. Also, adult beverages on the bus. Also, twenty dollars back in ca casino chips when you get there. What a great deal! Uh, let's bring in our next guest, Div Precious Divinity. What's going on? How Hi, are you? How Good are to you? see you again. Yes. What have you been up to? Oh boy! Well, I decided to dig some of my old writings out, and I'm in the process of publishing a couple children's books and. Divinity's writing ch child's books, children's yes, books. Yes, it, it's, uh, I have... Casino chips when you get there. What a great deal. Uh, let's bring in our next guest, Div Precious yeah, Divinity. Awesome. What's going on? How Hi, are you? How Good are to you? see you again. Yes. What have you been up to? Oh, boy. Well, I decided to dig some of my old writings out, and I'm in the process of publishing a couple children's books, and... Divinity's writing ch child's books, children's yes, books. Yes, it, it's, uh, I have my hand in the, the, a few pots right well, now. Wait a minute, so. okay, hold on. <laughs> the precious divinity from the 80s. I mean, you know, oh. <laughs> kind of, kind of, you're kind of famous back in the 80s. Yeah. But it wasn't anything near a children's book. You were, uh, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, let's go, <laughs> let's take a look. Right? Is that, was that from the 80s? Who are those guys you're with? Daryl and Pesci. That's Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. Yeah. And what were they doing to you? <laughs> Just posing for a photo. They came to the show I was in, Crazy Girls at the Riviera at that time. So. Okay. And, and what's this one right here, Jay Leno? Yeah. I mean, you were hanging out with Jay Leno. Yeah, that was backstage of the Tonight Show. They shot at the MGM, and um, they asked for some local support from various uh, showgirls and dancers in uh, professional shows in the area. So, well, t tell people at home so, some of your background, some of the things that you've done. Oh boy! Um, long story short, I started out um, dancing, and what all kind of dancing? Uh, Professional in Las Vegas reviews. Oh, okay. And um, the difference between a showgirl and a dancer is a dancer has to know, you know, double turns and how to move. Uh, the shuffle from... ball chain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and showgirls pretty much wear nice costumes and hold their hands out. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, so you were a real dancer. Is, is the point? Yeah. You're trying to get exactly. Right now. Yeah. So. Um, but the, All the while I was writing songs and poems and, and stories and, and the like. Um, so when I worked into singing in a couple shows, I kind of got tired of singing other people's songs because I had so many of my own. Mm -hmm. So I left that career to pursue uh, my own music. And that worked out pretty good, right? It worked out pretty good, yeah. What, what did you do in the music business? Well, I think we have some copies. Those are my books up now, but uh, there's some copies of the CD covers. Is that it right That's there? That's one, yeah. That's, That's racy. <laughs> that one was called Pop Hip Hop. Um, and what kind, of, what kind of musician were you? Well, um, I'm sort of fluent on the piano, enough to write a song and get my point across to a producer. And so I usually take my uh, vocal ideas in, you know, the melody mm -hmm. and composition into a music producer, and then they write the music from there, and I have input as to... And do you do the, the vocals? Writing. Of course. You do the vocals? All of them, backgrounds, What, what type? Uh, I'm trying to... Think. Now, I've heard the music, so I'm trying to... This is kind of like, uh, this is like Taylor Dane times. This, Thank you. <laughs> right? this, this, is, this is that time, this, that, that type 80s, of 80s, 90s, right. yeah. I was more in, in the 90s, and around 2001, I got to the pre-Grammy party, which was a big deal, and um, I had my music presented to the top of the ladder, and... You and, performed um, at the pre-Grammy party? I sure did. And it's how, how, how scary is it to perform at the <laughs> pre-Grammy party? It wasn't scary. Um, surprisingly, I was like one of the only ones to do original music there. There was a lot of bands and singers that were doing cover tunes, um, which surprised me being at that level that people would come on, you know, with a karaoke show. So, you know, it was big for me, you know, 
there was a lot of names there. I won't drop now, but there were a lot of professional people there so that were highly you record, respected. You record your CD and it gets, it gets some airplay, right? Um, no, it didn't get airplay. I didn't pursue that. Um, when I dream, I dream huge. So um, it went straight to the top to Clive Davis and Tommy Mottola and um, I had a good promoter at the time and it just kind of fell flat. Um, I could have chosen to go to the radio stations and, and um, do it myself, but back in the 90s, you have to remember, there were no computers and um, you kind of, to push something on your own and go up against a big label was unheard of then. Now it's more independent, so you this should guy... You it out! Yeah, well, this guy found me from England and was interested in doing some music for me, so I'm working with this guy named Nachos at Smash Show Records. <laughs> yeah, Nachos from England! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and um, he's kind enough to give me some prof professional tracks and... Um, I'm going to record a new album, and uh, I, I'm already into it now, a few songs into it, so... Um, he didn't, have, he didn't have like $15 million he needed to transfer, did he? No, <laughs> the, you know, I'm getting these God shots all the time, yeah. um, you know, I prayed for what I wanted, and I found, he said, hey, I found your website, like to do your music, they do it for free, they promote it, he's now starting a record label, his own record label, and he's in his 20s, and he's an internet guru. He knows everything about, you know, Facebook and all that, and how to promote on the internet, so, you know, I just give it to him, do my part, and he runs with it, and he's still got that fire under his but you know, uh, in his 20s, you know, like I did. <laughs> I've been a little jaded now um, with all the experience. No, just I a had. little. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, professional Vegas dancer, mm -hmm. professional musician, singer songwriter, singer songwriter, yeah. all this stuff. <laughs> what else? And don't get to the books yet. What else? Well. I do everything in music, from writing the song, I've now started to write my own actual music, you know, with the help of the computer, and and uh, so singer, songwriter, composer, lyricist, you know, all anything to do with music. Mother? Mother. Right? Right? <laughs> Hi, kids. Wife? Aaron. Akasha. Right. Right. Yes, I'm a wife. Okay. <laughs> Hi, uh, Jason. <laughs> grand, grandkids? No. Not yet, my right? My kids are five and seven. Okay, small kids. <laughs> So, all of this, and now, after all of this, we're going to go and write children's books. Yeah, you know... Tell me they have a moral to them. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. um, what happened is, when I, my children were very young, you know, you start reading the stories and singing the songs that are, you know, popular to us. And I, as a writer, I'd read the books and go, you know what, I, I can do that and maybe a little bit better. <laughs> and, and less creepy sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I know. What's that song, Rock? I maybe mean, yeah. in the bow breaks and the cradle falls, I'm going, I'm not singing that. I'll right. make it my own that song. Hurts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So anyway, um, the book that I'm putting out first is Chocolate Cupcakes, and it was inspired by my daughter, Kiera. Uh, she was napping in the back of the Jeep, and I pulled up, had an errand to run, and I got out to let her out of the car, and she had this huge smile on her face, and she just woke up, and I said, oh, did you have a good dream? And she said, I was dreaming of chocolate cupcakes. So I thought that was so sweet. I took that idea, and I ran with it. Um, the book is about a girl at nap time, and she doesn't want to take her nap, but her mother tells her she has a surprise for her um, if she follows the rules, takes her nap. And so um, she finds herself in a chocolate wonderland after she goes to sleep, and everything's chocolate. It takes you on a creative ride there, um, and uh, only to find out that when she wakes up, her mother had been baking chocolate cupcakes, so her dream was influenced by the smell of the cupcakes cooking. And um, it, it, the moral is, if you listen to your parents, good things will come. And it's about a loving relationship between a mother and a daughter. So, People that have known you for a long time, are they surprised that you're doing these children books now? Um, I haven't told them yet, honestly. Um, they know I write prolifically and... Um, I've been complimented by several 
high standing people on my writing, so um, I don't just say that, you know, to plug myself, but um, I kind of keep the music over here and the, the writing over here. Do you, do you, do you write your uh, children's books under the name Precious Divinity? Yes, I do. <laughs> and then you write about chocolate? Yes. You get it? You see it? Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I was hoping that I could get a big sponsor um, to put a chocolate cupcake recipe in there, but like I said, I dream big. I don't know what Duncan Hines is doing. <laughs> <laughs> you do dream big, don't you? All right, so what, what are, the, are, are, are these books available now? Not yet. I'm in the publishing process. I have a few channels I could go with. I was actually offered a deal with Westbow Press, who has been around for 200 years. They originated in England and did a lot of high-profile books and writers that we all know of. And um, pretty much it, it's a, a fee. They'll, they'll do the book for me, but then no promotion. So you know how that goes. Promotion, I think the lowest package was like 14000 So right. anyway, I found another place, America Star Books, who will pick up all the costs. Once again, a God shot. They'll pick up all the costs. They illustrate children's books for free. And um, you just take a dive and you're in um, your actual revenue for yourself. Um, I keep all my writer's rights, but um, I'd only make from 8% up to 50%, depending on how many books sell. The more volume. books that sell, right. the more money I get. Right. So, And since they put all the money out there, you know, they're interested in promoting it and making money themselves to recoup their own Especially costs, since so. they're making 92%. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first thousand, one. yeah. Now, does Precious Divinity, uh, do, you, do you stay in the book business? Are you going back to the music business? Are you going, what are you doing? You know what? Um, I write everything um, from prayers to psalms to stories. I've done movie treatments. Um, Writing is my thing, and last time I was here, I told you that, um, you know, when things got to a certain level and fell flat, that I kind of just forgot everything. Well, I uh, was talking to Laura Eisenhower. Um, she does session work with people trying to figure out how to get back on my life path, and she uh, told me, just write. Whatever you do, just write, write, write. And um, so she gave me some inspiration um, to pick it all back up. So um, that's where I stand with it. I'm, I'm going to do books. I'm going to do music. I mean, really, you can do whatever you want. It's just what you make money at. So <laughs> that's what matters. All so right. hopefully I can make some you money. Know, I, I, I'm, I'm dying to know. What are you doing tonight? I'm making paper plate tambourines with my children. <laughs> You're making paper plate tambourines? Well, this is what I did when I was a child on uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, you take two paper plates, put some dried beans inside, glue them together, let the kids decorate them, and then they have some noisemakers when it's New Year's. So. <laughs> I think that's, that's a great night. idea. That sounds like a lot of fun. Precious Divinity is so good to see you again. Thank you. Happy it's been New a Year's pleasure. to you. Thank okay. you. You too. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back on the bus. Stick around. This segment brought to you by Great Harvest Bread Company, where fresh milled 100% whole grain